In less than 30 minutes, a special meeting will be held in Jacksonville Beach to discuss possible changes to the special events policy. This comes after a review was done by a Jacksonville attorney to see if two city council members were personally benefiting from their involvement in these events. Channel 4's Elizabeth Campbell went to one of those elected officials directly today. She joins us live from outside the Jacksonville Beach City Hall where that meeting is about to start. Elizabeth. Oh, well, Lindsay and Tarek, I can tell you that these festivals happen during the off season and City Councilman Phil Vogelsang tells me the reason for that is to help bring an extra boost to businesses during a typically slow time of the year. He says if tonight's meeting leads to them possibly not being allowed to be involved with these types of events anymore, not only will it be disappointing for him, but for the whole community. Jacksonville Beach Council member Phil Vogelsing started Oktoberfest in 2013. He says he contributed $19,000 to charity in 2015, and this past October's event generated more than $30,000 for charity. And fellow council member Keith Doherty has organized another popular event since 2012, the Celtic Festival, held each November. Election season started in 2016. And all of a sudden, a question came up as to whether it would be appropriate for us as council members to do special events. Vogelsang immediately contacted the Ethics Commission in Tallahassee, who he says ultimately gave its opinion that there were no issues. Coincidentally, the city manager said that he wasn't comfortable based on me just relaying the information to the Ethics Commission. He wanted his own uh, review done of the policy. City attorney Susan Erdely hired local attorney John Dickinson to conduct the review, which Vogelsing says came back showing no violations of laws or policies. But he was upset with the way Dickinson's report portrayed where exactly the money raised from Oktoberfest went. Every dollar is specifically accounted for where that went. It all went to charity and the, uh, the remaining funds were left with the organization to be able to be used for the next event. And the 990 specifically articulates that by law. So for him to suggest in his report or question where the funds went um, was very frustrating, disappointing. People from the community have already begun to show up here to City Hall this evening. It's a public meeting and they want to express their opinion. I did reach out to the city attorney. She did not return my call. The attorney who handled the review was not available for comment and the mayor says he will be speaking after the meeting. News for Jax has a crew inside and we will keep you updated with what happens. Reporting live from Jacksonville Beach, Elizabeth Campbell, Channel 4, the local station.